good morning students today we will see the next topic that is standards of mental health nursing practice so wherever we practice our profession we will maintain some standards so at bedside if you provide care we will follow nursing process like that here there are some standards to work with the psychiatric patients so let us see the introduction so to provide qualitative care of psychiatric patients and fulfill professional obligation towards psychiatric care in 1973 the division of psychiatric and mental health nursing if the nurse is able to follow the standards of mental health nursing by maintaining accurate records based on observations and they can be able to avoid intelligently in getting involved in personal issues so if the introduction says in 1973 we have to follow some of these standards to provide qualitative psychiatric care so quantitative is different qualitative care we have to provide in the form of comprehensive and holistic nursing care approach so if you maintain a standards to follow all the records and reports based on the observations of the patient and we can provide accurate and correct treatments to the client so that the improvement will be uh, achieved in the psychiatric patients not only in this psychiatry all wherever we work we have to maintain some of the standards to provide qualitative care to the patients so for example the clients will related to property giving wrong information related to client to his family or to others welfare situational agency or to any type of assault physical or sexual assault if the nurse fails to follow the standards perfectly in her practice it will be referred to as negligence so sometimes we have to uh, disclose the information and we have to maintain the confidentiality in providing care to the psychiatric patients otherwise if you did any mistake towards the patient care will be comes under the negligence then why we have to maintain the standards that is purpose the to fulfill the professional obligation to provide a means of improving the quality of care the standards are revision of the standards that is enunciated by the division on psychiatric and mental health nursing practice in 1973 so the standards mainly helpful for us to fulfill the professional obligation and provide the quality of care to the patients then there are two types of standards in mental health nursing settings that is number 1 professional practice standards professional performance standards two types professional practice standards and professional performance standards practice means at the bedside uh, providing care we have to follow the nursing process and professional me performance means we have to update our knowledge by attending some conferences workshops and doing the research activities etc so we'll see one by one first one is professional practice standards under professional practice standards first one is standard one that is theory so before going to the bedside itself we must uh, thorough about the theory regarding the various mental disorders and various treatment modalities and uh, various home care for the psychiatric patients etc then it will be easy to you to provide about that and apply the theory at the bedside and from the patient also we will learn many things by the application of theory principles so here the psychiatric and mental health nursing is characterized by the application of relevant theories to explain phenomena concern to nurses and nurses to provide a basis for intervention second standard is data collection so if you get the raw data that is the nurse continuously collect the data that are comprehensive and accurate and systematic effective interviewing behavioral observation physical and mental assessment enable the nurse to reach the sound conclusion and plan the appropriate intervention with the patient so with the uh, complete assessment that is data collection we can plan and we know the problems of the patient then it is helpful for us to provide the 
treatment that is intervention and planning then diagnosis once we collected the data and knowing the problems we can formulate the nursing diagnosis based on the priority needs of the clients so here the nurse utilize the nursing diagnosis and standard classification of mental disorders to express conclusions supported by recorded assessment data and current scientific premises nursing logical basis for providing care rest on the reorganization and identification of those actual and potential health problems that are within the scope of nursing practice so the nursing diagnosis always based on the priority needs again they divide into actual and potential problems so actual present problems with the disease conditions potential means risk problems can be detected then in fourth standard is the planning so under this planning based on the nursing diagnosis we will plan the interventions which to be done to the patients the nurse develops a nursing care plan with specific goals and interventions delineating nursing actions unique to each client needs the nursing care plan is used to guide therapeutic intervention and effective achieve the desired outcomes then standard 4 intervention after the planning we will step into the implementation that is called as intervention that is psychotherapeutic interventions health teaching activities of daily living somatic therapies therapeutic environment psychotherapy so these are the interventions to perform for the psychiatric patients the next standard 4 that is 6 evaluation so the nurse evaluate the client responses to nursing actions in order to revise the database nursing diagnosis and nursing care plan in the evaluation final step so whether the patient is benefited or not the outcome and feedback will be taken from the patient if the problem is subsided we have to go for the another intervention otherwise the same problem if it is not resolved then we can go for the assessment again data analysis and data collection again recycle will be starts so this is about the first phase that is first standard professional practice standards under this the first one is theory second one data collection third one diagnosis next planning and intervention and evaluation then we will see the professional performance standard the performance we have to improve day by day when we work at bedside so as Uh, days pass on our skill has to improve by learning subject and by gaining the clinical experience and skills and knowledge this knowledge will be whatever we learn in the practice standards we have to implement in the hospitals so under this professional performance standards the seventh standard is that is peer review so peer means we have to communicate our problems our patient care problems with our co workers that is co colleagues the nurse participates in peer review and other means of evaluation to assure the quality of nursing care provided for the patient the next one next standard is standard a that is continue education so as we uh, we posted somewhere and we taken degree it is not the stopping of education so we have to go on continuing education we can attend workshops conferences and we can do the pgc in the respectable professions and we can do the research also so the nurse assumes responsibility for continuing education and professional development and contribute to the professional growth of others the next one interdisciplinary collaboration so here the nurse collaborates with other healthcare providers in assessing planning and implementation and evaluation programs and other mental health activities so that is the multidisciplinary team or mental health team we have to work with the colleagues regarding the patient care from uh, plan that is assessment to evaluation step then 10th standard is utilization of community health system so here the nurse participates with other members of the community in assessing planning implementing and evaluating mental health services and community systems 
that include the promotion of broad continuum of primary, secondary, tertiary prevention of mental illness. At community level, the role of nurse will be different. That is primary, secondary, tertiary prevention part. So primary prevention before the occurrence of disease, we will do the health education to the public. And secondary prevention, early detection and prompt treatment for mental illnesses and mental disorders. And tertiary prevention includes rehabilitation and disability limitation at the rehabilitation centers. Then the uh, last professional uh, performance standard is research. So the nurse contributes to nursing and uh, the mental health field through the interventions in theory and practice and participation in research. So research is a learning the new things and ongoing process. So here also the nurse plays an important role to learn about the theory part through the research and to enhance the more knowledge in the mental health nursing. So these are the standards under the uh, professional performance standards. So the standards mainly divided into two types. Professional practice standard, professional performance standard. Professional practice standard, first one theory, second one data collection, third one diagnosis, pl next planning and intervention and evaluation. So it can be um, uh, suitable for our nursing process in the bedside. Then under the professional standards, peer review, st uh, continuing education, interdisciplinary collaboration, utilization of community health system and research. So hope you understood. Thank you.